A new license option called 3D Lite has been added to the DFS family, which allows users to perform 2.5D and some 3D milling operations. In addition to full 2.5D milling options, a 3D Lite customer can use Z-level and parallel roughing strategies on a single surface, and they can use parallel isoline and 2D spiral finishing strategies, again on a single surface. So the first portion of this demo is showing you an important aspect of 3D Lite. I'll go to about DFS and I want to show you the evaluation options. I have 3D Lite turned on. You'll see the 2.5D milling is checked and dimmed. That's because it's a prerequisite for 3D Lite. And for the purposes of this demo, I also have feature recognition and 5-axis positioning turned on. I'll open the demo part. It's this throttle body here. If you take a look at this part, a vast majority of this can be machined with 2.5D milling features. In fact, I haven't programmed that far. I'll go ahead and show you the features. I have several setups. It's a 5-axis indexing part, 3 plus 2. And I'll run a simulation. So I'll get 3D sim and hit play. Okay, that's finished. Just to make things a little clearer, I'll turn on the tool colors. You can see where different tools cut. And that cavity of the throttle body has not been machined yet. So let's take a look at that. Stop the simulation. This cavity is tapered toward the center, toward the site of the butterfly valve. So that was something that's going to require some surface milling. I'll start with one on this end. Go to new feature, surface. Again, 3D Lite only allows you to use a single surface as your part surface, so I can go select that surface. I can also select one check surface if necessary. I'll set the tool axis and go start adding my operations. Now this will show you all of the operations that are available with our full 3D product. Just keep in mind that you're only able to use a subset of these options. If you'd like, you could create a separate folder that has only the 3D Lite strategies and that would help you avoid making uh, an incorrect selection. I'll select Z-Level Rough and add that to the operations. I'll go ahead while I'm here and add Isoline. Just for the sake of this example, I'm going to add another strategy that's not part of 3D Lite, for example, uh, radial finishing. It allows me to add it, but it tells me that it's not active. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you don't get any of those in there. I'll go ahead and delete that from my list. What I want is Z-Level Roughing and Isoline, so that's perfect. I'll go click OK, and then it gets added to my top setup. I'll drag it down here. OK, I want to make some settings, some changes. So I'm going to right-click on the Z-Level Rough and edit its attributes. I want that to rough this area out as a pocket. And I'll click OK. And for the Isoline, I want to edit the attributes. Isoline will let me follow any of the Isolines of this particular surface. And if I go to the surface control, you see that this starting at the bottom and milling up and down the face, that's going to start on the other last row. Here it's going to start at the bottom and machine around the cavity as it comes up. This starts at the top and goes around on the way down. So I'll go with the first option, but I want to change the direction. So this will go along that, that airflow through the throttle body. Okay, I'll keep all of the default tools. I do want to go back to the, the Z-Level Rough and make one more change. I'm going to edit the attributes and set a Z-End. Okay, I'll go over here and pick this edge. So let, set that as my Z-End. I want the, the bottom of that selected entity right there. So I was able to select and create a nice surface milling operation on a single surface, both roughing and finishing. And let's see the results. I have one pre-created 
for the opposite side. So I'll turn that back on. And I'll run another 3D simulation, but before I do that, I'm going to go to my op list, and on that surface mill, I'm going to put a breakpoint right there so it'll pause. Okay, here we go. Okay, it stops there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the roughing. The Z-level rough down that tapered uh, chamber. And here comes the isoline finish. Following the isolines of that surface. Right around that cavity. I might want to make my Z-level rough a little deeper, but it's a pretty good idea of what we've had there. Okay, and I'll resume the rest of the simulation. Okay, looks like it's complete. And there's our throttle body fully machined. So there's an introduction to 3D light. Again, it's for machining single surfaces with Z-level or parallel roughing and parallel isoline and 2D spiral finishing strategies.